What's up YouTube and welcome all new subscribers. My name is Spike Mandan. Welcome to my channel here on YouTube. Alright, so today we got some exciting news. Today is the day that I finally start installing the Predator 212 to the CT100U frame. And But first we have to pull out the stock 3 horse. And I've already got some tools preparated and underway, so here we go. Okay, so what I went ahead and done is I disconnected the power cords. There's a bolt right here that this green wire goes to. You're going to want to unbolt that from there. And then there's also this black cable that connects to the engine right here. You're going to want to disconnect that along with disconnecting the throttle cable off of the throttle mechanism right here and right here simple screwdriver and a I think it was 12 millimeter wrench or something like that don't quote me on that I completely forgot what size but um, yeah you're gonna want to disconnect those and then the size tools you will need for pulling the engine apart I've got two sockets in 10 millimeter deep well and short well and I've also got a 13 millimeter deep well along with a 13 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench you're gonna end up using all of these tools to pull your engine off the bike for various reasons that and uh, for some odd reason I figured out why my chain kept coming loose is because I stripped out this bolt right here. Man, I, w I really wish I could get that to focus. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this bolt right here is stripped. So I have to take... The handlebars off, which I'm going to be sitting up here on that block. Say hi to Shedda, everybody. That's my neighbor's cat. He loves it here more than he loves it at his own house because we treat him good. Uh -huh. Either that or he just likes the free food. I'm not sure. Probably the free food, more than likely. You feed a cat once, they never go away. Uh -huh. All right, so yeah. Because that bolt is stripped on the engine right here, I didn't. I have to get the uh, handlebars taken off so I can get a uh, cutoff wheel and a Dremel in there to splice that off. So I'm gonna try my best to like get the right camera angle so you guys can see what I'm doing. So yeah, stick around. Alright, so I'm going to try to work on getting this uh, handlebar taken off so we can get to the engine. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys out since you guys are running the muck. Don't get... Damn cats. Alright, so... We got our 5 eighths up above. I believe that's 13... Now let's go with the 14. I think it was 14. Yeah, it was definitely the 14. We're just gonna go ahead and remove this sun again real quick. I probably should have used the socket, it would have been a lot faster, but this is what I decided to go with. Wrenching her out the old school way. Taking my time. And 
been sure I could do it a heck of a lot faster, but you know. Sometimes things are meant to be slowed down and enjoyed. If you move it just right, you can pop the bolt out just like that. That's what you call skilled. Now, depending on, yeah, my bike's gonna lean back a little bit. Because we have to get a Dremel squeezed into this little tiny triangle and we got to figure out how to cut this bolt out without damaging any part of our engine. It's going to be a tight squeeze but I think it's manageable. Oh look at that. Forgot to pressure wash a little part of the engine off. No worries. I got some mechanics rags down there. Alright, so stick around for the next segment. So we gotta make sure our cutoff wheel fits in there first. See, that's kind of an issue. That's really a pain in my ass. But before I do anything, I feel like I need to wear some sort of like safety glasses. What about me? Sorry, I had to say that. That would be highly advised. Okay, that just seems like too much of a pain. Mm. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try to flip this bike up on its frame and try to cut the bottom of the bolt out. Pause. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to be going ahead and dealing with this strip bolt right here. I had to pull the handlebars off of the bike just to be able to get to the bolt because it would not work up up here. It's just not going to work. And apparently that's not working. So, let's go ahead and uh, get our safety glasses on and cut the shit out of this. So, we like totally destroyed a uh, grinding wheel. We're going to install a new one. No big deal. Oh. 
I'm not really sure how they think that sloppy fucking design works. I mean, it, it just shifts all over the place. I'm not eh, confident at the least bit. But uh, that's where the safety glasses come in. And we just gotta hope for the best, right? Here we go. Look at the light, though. Yay. Your boy Smiley on camera. Mmm, nothing like the smell of cut metal. Mm-mm-mm. Make me whistle fabrication stop. Miss it. piece of shit fucking design tool dude this is supposed to be like good shit and it's horrible i say boo on this product hey what's up everybody on youtube spike man dan all right so we got the hardest part of the engine done if you would kindly just focus on that yeah get a little bit of a walk in on that like i focused up okay so there was a strip bolt that we had to just literally beat the living crap out of to get out of here. So we did that cleanly as possible and it's actually looking nice. So the only other bolts we have to get rid of is just these three bolts right here and then soon to be installed, the Predator 212. Go ahead, like and subscribe and stick the hell around for that. Rolling. All right, so we're on to the last bolt of unbolting this little stock three horse. Just gotta get that last bolt out. careful about how we do this because the whole thing is just jostled loose and not to mention I have to also take out the exhaust so give me a just a second it's gonna only take just a few seconds to figure out what the size of the uh, I'm pretty sure I got it already I just want to make sure I'm not gonna knock anything critical over in the house. Alright. So... Looks like it's a, you know... Get the hell over there. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks, but yeah, things are gonna happen. Looks like a 13 now. And that feels like just the right size. So we gotta take the exhaust off to get this little engine out. We're gonna have to remove this chain. Oh, 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so we should have our little, um, 13 mil wrench over here somewhere. 14, 13. There we go. Let's see if we can get this little bitch loose somehow quite quick. There we go, finger loose. Get this shit threaded off quick. Here goes the whole entire engine removal. Woo! This is gonna be so fucking dope. Yeah! There it is. Bam! Engine removal completed. Woo! All right. That's gonna be the next segment. Oh shit. We're probably gonna die from carbon monoxide poisoning, but I don't give a shit. So, here's the test run. That's about enough for right now. 
The engine's in, folks. Let me know what y'all think. Leave a comment, subscribe, and leave a, you know, do all that shit. So, my name is Spike Van Dan, and I'm not done with this little video on the mini bike yet. They got a lot more work to it, but the point is, I showed you guys what I promised. Stage 3 engine. CT 100U frame. Sure, the gas lid doesn't look like it's going to quite come off. But we'll figure something out. I don't care. Spike Man Dan, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And, yeah. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't told you so. So, like and subscribe. Peace out. Alright, so I have to obviously split this video into two parts. I just wanted to show you guys this sexy side pipe that fits along the frame perfectly sideways. Oh my god. The opening is fucking bodegas. Oh, look at those side louvers, yes. This is by far the coolest side pipe I have seen for a mini bike. Especially for the CT100 gear. That is dope. I got the dopest side pipe. Yeah. Alright, if y'all like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe to Spike Man Dan, the one and only first in entertainment on YouTube, Spike TV, coming at you. So if you like what you see, go ahead and like and subscribe to Spike Man Dan, the one and only, the original, and the millions are looking at me and chanting my name. Spike, man, Spike, man, Spike, man. Yeah, well, anyways, <laughs> that's my goal anyways. So, when it comes to mini bikes, and we're working on them. Yeah, by the way, that is the 212. We got the, uh, the three horse right here. That's the stock engine that was in it. And then we got the Predator 212 with all its beefy, mightiest, mightiest freaking craziness. And then we got that insane exhaust pipe right here. That thing looks sick as a mofo. Oh, yeah. That's like a legit Harley pipe right there. No doubt. That is sick as wicked hell. But yeah, go ahead, like, and subscribe. We're going to get these videos edited and put together. Spike Man, stick around for part two when we actually get this thing finished and put together. <coughs> what? <coughs> All right, so we're going to try and get some film of this bad boy running. And that's what that new little badass sound pipe, or side pipe sounds like. It's a fucking beast. Sounds better than the, than this one. I swear to God, that 300 goes back to my name. Oh man, that, that side pipe just was not doing it. But this one's got a step upgrade. Yeah, look at those side louvers on it. Sexy bitch right there. 
That's a 212, oh, people. My money. my money. Oh my god, my money. This bitch don't even have a clue about money, dude. So here it is, the 212, officially installed on the CT100U. All wrapped out, of course. Got all the uh, high gadget get you gadgets going on on it. But the problem still remains, like my subscribers have been noticing. What are you going to do with that air vent on the gas tank? Well, I managed to pull out the annoying air valve in it. The other half is still stuck in the tank. It's just a big plastic floating piece, so I'm not going to worry about it. I have another backup gas tank in the kitchen, as you guys can see. Same exact one, not worried about it. I got backups for days, son. So when it comes to that little air vent hole in the gas tank that I have cleanly removed, I have to be able to have a way to get fuel in it because as you can see, there is literally no clearance to get the gas cap off itself. So now I understand what y'all was saying. Can't wait to see what you get when you get the uh, engine in on how you're going to do with the gas tank. I'm like, oh, yeah, the gas tank is still just fine. You got to be the smarter person and figure out a way to get that little side hole into another type of fueling system. So that's what I've done. I pulled out that little plastic piece. And now we're going to, I'm going to have to figure out something to cover that back up with. Or vice versa, use some kind of custom made gas cap for that area. Uh, I thought about just sticking a wine cork in it. Just for Pete's sake, you know, just to test it out and ride it. But then I was starting to think, well, the vibration alone could end up jostling the uh, cork out of the uh, gas tank. And how good does cork hold up to gasoline anyways, you know? So there's a lot of, like, questions there to be had. And I don't like questions. I just like solid answers. Whoa! Look at that. Anyone else notice this, like, totally looks like wood right now? Camera's doing something crazy on it. Watch. It's actually chrome. But when I... Oh, I know what it is. It's, it must be catching the reflection off of this wood. That's pretty dope. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, how cool would that be? Have a wood-covered air breather? That looks so dope. How cool is that? My freaking air breather looks like it's actually wood-grained right now. All because of the reflection off of that thing right there. That's so dope. Oh, that would look like literal, like, Flintstone stuff going on right now. Wood grain chrome. Oh my god, that would be the dopest shit ever. Wood grain chrome. So fucking sick. How do we start inventing this? Spike Man Dan. Sorry, but I gotta cut this video short. I'm so stuck on this chrome wood grain shit. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody on YouTube? I sure do hope and glad you all enjoyed that uh, video of me doing that my engine swap. And we will have a link in description for you guys to get your free stickers in the description down below. Just send me your mailing address or P.O. box, whichever works for you. And you will get a free sticker from me, Spike Man Dan, through my YouTube channel. Thank you all for liking my channel. Don't forget to like. 
And I know you like it. Come on, don't be a hater. Just like it. And always subscribe. Because if anything, you never know. I'm going to do videos on things that are uh, just random and totally out there. Like, for example, we're going to be doing a video shot on how to get your Predator 212 air vent turned into a gas inlet. And I notice there's no videos on YouTube for that, so I'm I'm going to be doing that very soon. So stick around and hope and like you. I really do hope y'all enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, I work my butt off. So uh, I got to... I got a job at work on the uh, daytime, and then it's also nighttime, so it's really hard for me to get these videos in. I just really appreciate your guys' patience and your understanding on how hard it is for me to make these videos. But yeah, stick around, and uh, oh, also, we got to show you guys this. These are the new stickers. With my new freaking design. I made these myself. Like the design, everything. I ordered them online, but I sent them my own personal design. These are the most wickedest stickers I have designed yet. So, please, if you like my channel, go ahead and send me your mailing address just down below here. That'll be... The mailing address, you send me your mailing address to my email. Spike Man Dan, out.